I was playing with my son and he's tapped Instagram and I've just heard this music and thinking, what the hell is that? Like, I need to be involved. Called Raf, Raf, you have to bring him. Whatever you do, you have to find a way of like, getting him in this tournament because it looks sick. You don't normally see those things in ends. Like, you see those things on Sky Sports, Adidas, Nike adverts. I've come to an event in the streets and you see, you see everything, you see tents, you see a DJ, there's a lot of fans. I'm actually surprised how many people come down. Like this is, as they would say, in the hood. We've got people from different parts of London, different races, different religions, different cultures. We've got people coming from Hackney, we've got people coming from all over just for that, the ability to just get that energy out of everyone was just like amazing on the night itself. They're representing who they are and it's so pure. And I think that's what connected with people and they said, you know what, I'm gonna support this team. I wanna support my friend, I wanna come down. That's why we had such a great turnout. It's so important to do something that you feel passionate about, regardless of what it is. If I was not playing in that tournament, I would just probably be hanging about with my friends on the, on the streets, all just boring. If we don't have nothing to do, that's, that's, that's what we do. So when things like that come, we're buzzing. And as you know, we, we get cuts and bruises out of it. Any time I drift away from football, I get myself into trouble. Growing up in my community and growing up in my area, it's very easy to get dragged into silly stuff. I wouldn't say gang related, but I'd get myself into unnecessary trouble with the police or things that I shouldn't be doing. Without football, I don't know where I'd be. But those 90 minutes from the pitch, all the troubles from the world, like, whether it be you're having problems at home, you have no money, you can't pay the bills, that doesn't matter. That's the only thing that's ever kept me going. That's why passion for football never like run dry in my blood. It's me. Football is me. There's no better feeling. Like I could do it for for my lifetime. Even when I'm a granddad, I'll still be trying to try to do a couple moves and that's just the feeling is just crazy. Like I cannot even explain it. Like you can just see it like how, how much it means to me. Like it's just it's just the love of the game. The trash talking before you know, I think it helped because as soon as we got there, it was like, so what are you lot saying now? Are you talking? Are you still talking? Are you still saying what you're saying online? How many games did you win? Bro, the lights went off. How many games did you win? The lights went off. There's an hour left. How many games did you win? Come down to East London. Come down to East London. We kicked your ass. We kicked your ass. Speaking the same language to each other. And he's a player. And he's a rep. We kicked your ass. 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 We kicked Hey, 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 Jay, turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. off. He's got to get a little groove on. <laughs> it's the rivalry. It's the trash talk. It's the bands. I wouldn't have met half of those boys without the tournament. Like, it's brought everyone together, like, tech squad. No, I don't like them. Tech squad. Our lineup is just lethal. I'll start with Didi, the little Portuguese magician. Big men. One, two, three. Hey. Shooting from their own half. Yeah. Yo, stop making up excuse. Stooge. Smooth fella. He's the core of the team. He's just, when it comes to the football game, he's serious. They got all the flair, and I'm just the guy that's just chopping up everything and just delivering everything to them and saying, you finish off the rest of the dish. Our team, I don't know how to describe it without being rude. We've got Alex. Come on, G. We're here, man. Kid the talent. Uncle AT, he's uh, your boisterous, you're very confident, you're front man. You know what happened to your defender, where is he? He's not around no more. He was in the air on camera, Sky! Raf, I think he balances the team well because he kind of tells us when to calm everything down. They're going to come and do all this uh, dancing and stuff and um, strictly come dancing and stuff. <laughs> and we're just going to come and put the fire in. <laughs> Part two, watch out. We'll see who wins the tournament, man. I just hopefully they don't get the lights turned off this time, you get me? The last time is just more than street football. 
it's more than football, it's, it goes deeper than that. It gave them the platform to showcase who they are, not just their talent, but also make them feel good about who they are as a person, culturally, their friends in the area and where they belong to, around that area. They, they don't believe they can achieve much. Like they feel like someone else has to come from outside to make it happen for them. And I'm like, why not you? Why can't you do it? A lot of people look at these things, like the last stand, and think, I could really go and do something productive, something positive. In areas and communities like myself, like you're deprived of, you know, seeing what's out there. You, you're scared to see, you know, what's on the other side because you don't know if there's going to be trouble, you don't know if there's going to be this adversity facing, you don't know. But this tournament breaks barriers, it breaks boundaries, it breaks a lot of things, you know, that people are scared of. And it has the potential to go so much further than it is now, you know what I mean? One game on the stiff arm. You know what they call me? The bully. I, we don't, he doesn't need a backup dancer, Chief. No, no. I, 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 he doesn't need a backup dancer. I, That's why they call me the bully. That's why I was waiting to man back to their house. Then I went home and said hello to their mum and then came back to the match. <laughs> you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Whose first touch made them kick it off the pitch? When what? the two touched it, it was him. Oh, Bam, don't come it on. Come, come on. on. You know who you two are? Who? Yeah. Reggie and Bowley. <laughs> Reggie and Bowley. Oh, we got three points in the for cream. I was a bit slidey there. I was a bit slippery. Are you done? Well, these man added nutmegs. Man didn't even know about nutmegs. I know, because you can't do them. Well, well, tell you you me. well done, boys. You needed it. Boys, confidence. Come to the What is it like when you're nuts? What is that? So what's the experience? Like? <laughs> Steve! Oh, oh well done, Steve. Well done. How did it feel with the first oh, skills? Oh, oh, did he? Did he? What did he have for dinner? So much bias, people. Why are we fighting the world? Why is he the talent fighting the world? I just don't get it. The world is on our shoulders right now. The wind.